Welcome to Make Something Every Day. This episode is brought to you by Kind Crafts, a nonprofit organization. Today we will be creating a beautiful bouquet of paper flowers. Print off the PDF from my website. The link is in the description. I have chosen to print a variety of pink and whites and purples for the flowers. The size of the mason jar will depend on your frame size, so do a little bit of experimenting. Of course you need a picture frame, a glue gun or a glue stick, scissors, pencil crayons. Let's start by adding a little bit of shading to the petals. This is where you can get crafty and creative. Don't worry about coloring inside the lines because we will be cutting these out after. Look at all the beautiful variety of flowers that we're going to have in our bouquet today. The next step will require a lot of patience. Kids, if you can't use scissors, ask your parents for help. Cut along the printed edges. I suggest playing your favorite playlist because this step takes a very long time. It took me over an hour just to cut a couple of flowers, but it's definitely worth it. Once your cut is complete, you're going to be left with this little swirly flower. And with the magic of editing, ta-da! I am done all these flowers and I'm ready for the next step. So start on the outer edge of the flower and you will carefully roll the sheet of paper all the way to the center of the flower. Use your glue gun or glue stick to add some glue along the way. Kids, if you cannot use a glue gun and it is too hot, ask your parents for help. If you have chosen to use a glue stick, you will just have to hold the paper flower in place until it is dried. This was a really meditative process for me. I just really felt my mind unwind as I rolled these flowers together. Tuck in the last portion of the flower and you have just completed your first paper rose. Now repeat the step a couple times until all your roses have been rolled up. Now isn't this lilac rose so beautiful? What color palette did you choose for your rose bouquet? Let me know in the comments below. Look at these gorgeous flowers. Grab your mason jar print. You'll have to figure out what size is the best for your frame. Remember I said you had to do a little bit of experimenting? Remove the frame and tape the mason jar print on top of the glass. Install your frame back. We will be arranging our paper flower bouquet. Let's have some fun and arrange our paper bouquet. And gently lift off each paper rose and glue it in place. I've realized I have a lot of blank spots in the page, so I found some scrap green paper and I'm cutting some leaves. I'm gluing the leaves down in different areas to make the bouquet look more full. Now find your favorite short quote or affirmation and write it inside the mason jar. This would be a great gift for someone. And you've just completed your first paper bouquet. I had such a fun time making this paper bouquet with you. I really hope you enjoyed it as well. Remember to keep your mind, body, and soul active. Make something every day. Mm -hmm.